G'day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today DJI has launched a brand new set of low cost goggles. These can be used with the DJI Neo and the DJI Avada 2. Due to the lower cost of these goggles, it's gonna help a lot of people enter the world of FPV and experience immersive flights with their DJI Neo. Up until now, the only option we had for the DJI Neo was the Goggles 3, which are an excellent set of goggles, but for some people, they were a little bit out of their budget. So these goggles are affordable and they're full featured. They support head tracking, they support the AR cursor. They support Easy Acro with the DJI Neo and with the DJI Avada 2. And with the DJI Avada 2, we get a brand new Easy Acro maneuver called Power Loops. Now these goggles are styled a little bit differently. They're a little bit larger than the Goggles 3 or the Goggles 2. And that's because these are designed to wear over corrective eyewear. If you wear glasses, these will fit comfortably over top. And that's actually kind of nice because with the Goggles 3 or the Goggles 2, Although you could adjust the prescription with the dials on the bottom, for some people with very specific prescriptions, that wasn't really an option. You could get it close, but not perfect. The only other thing you could do is order a set of custom lenses with your prescription in them. And those tend to work very well, which I have featured on my channel in the past. But with these, you don't have to worry about that. You can just wear your glasses, put the goggles on over top, and you're gonna have perfect vision. These goggles support 1080 at 60 frames per second at 60 Hertz. They have an extremely wide field of view at 54 degrees, so that's going to give you a nice immersive flight experience. It utilizes the 04 transmission system with a four antenna design. It's going to give you a range of about 13 kilometers. It has a built-in battery right in the headband, and just like past models, we have a dial that we can use to tighten and loosen it. And according to DJI, the battery is rated for 2.7 hours. If we take a look around the goggles, we have two fold-out antennas at the top. At the top, we also have a spot for a memory card if we want to get a screen recording. And we have the USB-C for charging up the device. And we can also use that for updating firmware. Off to the right-hand side, we have a joystick for changing settings and a back button. And then on the side, we have our power button. And we also use that button when it comes to pairing. This also has the defog mode, so you can turn that on if you find that the goggles are starting to fog up. You can access that just by swiping down from the top, and there's an option there to turn on defogging. So what we're gonna do now is go for a quick flight with the DJI Neo, just so I can check them out. I actually haven't used these yet, so this is gonna be kind of like a first experience video as well. We're gonna see what the video quality looks like, what the feed looks like, and how comfortable they are to wear. I've had them on and they are quite comfortable to wear, but we're gonna see how it feels while flying. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything powered up here, and we will go for a quick flight. So I'm gonna start a recording here. When we pull down from the top, we have our head tracking, we have easy acro, and we have our goggles defogging. If we pull over from the side there, we can go to status. If we hit switch, you can see we can go back and forth between the DJI Vada 2 and the DJI Neo. And then of course we can go to our camera and we can adjust all the settings. I'm just gonna use rock steady for now. Of course you can always use gyro flow if that is your preferred method. So let's go ahead here and uh, we'll get the drone up and we'll go for a flight. So we'll start the motors, press and hold and uh, that'll launch it. So we're not gonna do anything too crazy. Right now I've just got it in normal mode and we'll go for a quick flight. All the beautiful fall colors are now coming out. And uh, yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Screen is nice and clear, nice and crisp. And it's almost got like a, whoa. Try not to hit myself there. Let's go up above the trees here. The screen almost has like a curved feel to it. So that's actually really nice. It makes it a little bit easier to see everything. Yeah, you can see all the nice, beautiful colors. This uh, Neo drone is actually pretty incredible. A tiny little lightweight drone like this, just being able to fly it FPV style with the goggles or have it 
run autonomously if that's your preferred method. So yeah, pretty incredible. And I should mention the uh, these goggles in conjunction with the Neo or the Avada are compatible with uh, the Motion 3 controller and with the DJI FPB 3 controller. And uh, we're just in normal mode right now. We're not going to do anything too crazy. But I will put it into Easy Acro here in a second. So yeah, I think these goggles are going to be a nice addition to some people's kits if you don't have goggles already. They're going to be a little more affordable. And uh, from what I can see, they seem to be pretty good quality. And uh, extremely immersive flight. It's going to be the perfect uh, set of goggles for some people. And they may make it compatible with other drones down the road. Who knows what DJI will do there. They uh, quite often do bring compatibility to other devices as time goes on. Okay, so let's uh, bring it down here. And uh, we're going to test out the Easy Acro. And there I am. So yeah, so we're gonna put it in easy acro mode now and uh, we'll check some of those features out. So we just shut that recording off because we can't change it while we're recording. So we'll go to easy acro. So let's uh, do a drift first. Pretty easy to do. And this can be done on the DJI Vada 2 as well. And all we're doing is pressing the uh, joystick and depending which way you do it is the way it's going to drift. So very good. Let's do a flip. I'm gonna put it out into a more open area here. So now I'm gonna use the scroll wheel. We'll put it to flip. You can kind of see me down there in the distance. And now we can do a flip to the right, flip to the left both back and front so yeah pretty easy and you can do that in conjunction while you're flying let's get a open area up here so we can be flying along and then do a roll do it the other way and then we can do a flip so yeah, pretty easy. I'm going to have the drone in view so you can see what it's doing. And uh, we're going to enable head tracking. We do so by sliding down from the top. Now, as you can see, as I move my head left to right, the drone will do the exact same movement. And I can look up and look down and the camera will move in that way as well. So yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, folks, those are the Goggles N3 from DJI. A great beginner set of goggles. They're packed full of features and I think are going to be a great choice for some people. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it had value. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next one.